All right, in this video, we're going to do some examples of graphs and behavior and multiplicity of roots for polynomials. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we have a polynomial. We know that a is greater than 0, so that's a leading coefficient. We have x equals negative 3 with a multiplicity of 2 is one of the roots. x equals 1 with a multiplicity of 1. x equals 4 with a multiplicity of 3. And what we want to do is create um, just a graph for it. So the first thing I'll do is figure out the degree. Uh, so the degree, what I'm going to do is add up the multiplicities. So I'll have 2 plus 1 plus 3. So I get an overall degree of 6. Okay, and now I want to figure out the end behavior. So I think about what I know. Well, I know that it's a 6 degree, so that's even. Um, and I know that it has a leading coefficient that's positive, And I know that a even degree polynomial with a positive leading coefficient will go high to high. So it starts high and it ends high. So now what I'll do is um, create my x-axis and put the uh, roots on it, so negative 3, 1, and 4. And uh, let me fill in the zeros. And I know what's going to happen is that at x equals negative 3, I'm going to get a bounce because of the multiplicity being 2. Um, at 1, it's going to shoot straight through because the multiplicity is 1. And at 3, it's going to snake its way through. Um, so let's see if we can uh, graph that. So it's going to start high and go to negative 3. At negative 3, I'm going to bounce, and then I'm going to shoot straight through 1. So bounce, goes up, turns around, shoots straight through 1. And now at x equals 4, it's going to snake its way through. So it's going to pass through the axis. It's not going to bounce, but it's going to kind of change its shape. So it snakes its way through. Um, and if you look at the graph that we just created, it starts high and it ends high. It bounces at negative 3. It shoots straight through 1 and it snakes its way through 4. So we've done the job we were uh, setting out for. Let's take a look at another one. So we have a is less than 0, so a negative leading coefficient. And then uh, negative 6 has multiplicity 1, negative 3 has multiplicity 4. Um, at 0 we have a multiplicity of 3, and at 3 we have a multiplicity of 5. So uh, let's do the whole thing again. So we want to find the degree. And we're going to get that just by adding up the multiplicities. So 1, 4, 3, and 5. That's going to give me 13 overall. Um, so it's an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient. So odd degree, negative leading coefficient. So I know the end behavior is going to go from uh, high to low because of that. So it's going to start high and it's going to end low. Uh, so I'll set up my x-axis again. Look at the multiplicities. So multiplicity of... Uh, 1 is going to shoot straight through, 4 is going to bounce, 3 is going to snake through, um, and then 5 is going to snake through, but it's going to get flatter than at 3. And uh, so let's start high and see what we can do. So I start high, I shoot straight through. Um, now I'm going to uh, go to th negative 3, but I'm going to bounce there. So it's going to turn around, go up to negative 3, but bounce. And now what's going to happen is it's going to turn around again, go up to zero, pass through the axis, and kind of snake through, so it changes shape. And here what happens is I'm going to turn around, go back through the axis, um, and I'm going to snake through again, but it's going to get even flatter than it did um, at zero. So snake through, get flatter. Um, if you look at it, we started high, we ended low, and then each of the behaviors on the axis follows what we wanted it to do. So uh, we definitely got the graph that we were looking for. Uh, notice I'm not putting in a y-axis, because I really I have no idea what the y-values are, and I just don't even want to figure them out. Um, we could also write equations for these, uh, and let's actually do that. So we'll do that in this next example, where we actually have started with a graph. So I have this graph. Um, I can see the zeros are at 1, 4, 7, and 10. And I can see that it starts low and ends low. So immediately I'm just expecting to get a negative um, even degree polynomial. So I'm looking for a negative even degree polynomial. And at 1, it's going to shoot straight through, which means that that has a multiplicity of 1. Um, at 4, it's going to bounce, which means the multiplicity is going to be 2. At 7, it's going to snake its way through. Um, not particularly flat, so I'm going to say the multiplicity is 3. And then at 10, it's going to bounce, but it's a very flat bounce. Since it's a flat bounce, I'm going to say the multiplicity is higher than 2. I'll go with 4. So we have a flat bound, so a multiplicity of 4. And from this, I can write the polynomial. So x equals 1 is a 0, which means that um, x minus 1 is a factor. So f of x, I'm going to start with a, and then x minus 1 to the first. 
uh, x minus 4 to the second, x minus 7 to the third, and x minus 10 to the fourth. I know that a is less than 0, and overall I have a degree of 10. Um, so that could be an equation for this polynomial. Uh, the value of a, uh, we'd have to know a point that's actually on the polynomial to figure that out. But uh, those are three examples of things you can do with multiplicity, end behavior, and the graphs of polynomials. Hope you found this helpful, and good luck.